Hey guys, Putty here, welcome back for another episode of Mid-Atlantic Wrestling, clearly. Um, it is time for Oli slash M-A-W Atlantico Cruzada. And it is going to be awesome. We are on Selección Mexico, and we have some backstage influence, inf uh, incidents. Sam Keith and Marcos Flores, you guys are going to be good, right? Oh, Sam's like, brah, I'm here for like four dates, but I'm going to bring, I'm going to be the judge, yeah, I'll be the judge of wrestling, or why not? Um... <laughs> what the fuck not? Oh, wait, did I just see that Sam Keith has one appearance left? Oh, that means Sam cannot appear tonight then. Because Sam has something he needs to do in the future. Oh, scary. Yeah, scary. Roar. Alright, uh, we have matches pre booked, guys. We don't have to just make your shit up. Okay. Uh, Nicholas Lopez versus Evil. My god, what a match. What a shit. What, what is going down here? Um, what is going on here? I'm actually looking. Yeah, yeah alright, cool. I'm gonna do this. This is gonna be uh, surprisingly. How good is Nicholas these days? Yeah, Nicholas is like. Goat. Uh, no, no, he's not goat, but he's really good. Like, he is really good. Uh, I forgot. To, we did pass a month recently. So I wanna make sure Nicholas hasn't suddenly entered time to claim. No, we've lost El Critico, which is why this list is smaller. Alright. What do I want to do? Uh, oh yeah, so I want Evil to go over. He's going to win this match. It's going to be open, cold, slow built, and decisive. Oh, is he going to be decisive though? Yeah, I think it's going to be decisive. Evil's going to prove himself in this match. He's going to say, yeah, I am actually that damn good. If In case in case you weren't aware, Nicholas, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> i actually go 30 on this one. I think they can do it. And then we'll do Pasadilla versus Tirador. This one's going 20. And this will be... I think this will open the show. Tirador's going to win. And we'll do storytelling with it. Open, call, slow build, decisive. Because it's obviously the story of uh, Tirador just tearing her apart. And we'll, we'll put the title on the line. Actually, no, we won't. We won't. Okay. Don't worry, I did not just put the women's title on the line, I didn't save. Um, just in case you, you saw that, I'm like, wait, what? Did you just put the women's on the line? No. The trio's titles will be on the line, though, in this match, this amazing rematch. So this is going to be <laughs> an interesting one. So it's going to, Amadou Delgado is going to go over, it's going to be open, called, uh, not called. It'll be open, eh, uh, sure, call it, slow build. I guess I'm going to call it a tainted win, uh, because it's going to be our, one of our few uses of this note. So few, in fact, that I cannot indeed find it. Um, oh, that's something we might do, actually. Where is it? There it is. We're gonna overbook. So we're gonna have interference on... So first of all... First... Okay. <laughs> first of all, Roderick Remus is gonna try and get interfered in by Espadachin. Then, the Enforcer... Well, one of the enforcers, which is going to be Cheetah Boy, is going to stop Espadachin from interfering. Then in comes Evil. Oh, one second. In comes Evil, who is going to try and interfere again on behalf of the demons. And uh, George Wolf. Oh, oh, he's not in the match. Oh, yeah. Okay. George Wolf is going to look like he's going to stop evil from interfering and that who's George Wolf is the other enforcer but he turns heel and joins the demons <laughs> and uh <laughs> yeah that's that's the ending of the match i i think it's going to go down a treat <laughs> okay also tonight we will have george after that debacle he's going to take on Finn Lazando and Finn Lozando is going to beat him, and George will never be seen again. <laughs> it's like, hey George, you fucking bastard, what you doing that for? And we'll have Cheetah Boy take on Espadachin, Demoniaco. And Cheetah Boy is going to win. No, 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 Demoniaco is going to win. Because just like ROH, uh, well, actually we're the opposite of ROH, all of our guys actually go over, unlike in ROH where none of their guys go over. Alright, and we're going to do a high spots match with this one, because Cheetah Boy is pretty flippy. Pretty flippy dude. We can put some titles on the line tonight, I think. We'll have that as our uh, warm-up matches, I guess. 
they can be. So we'll have Queens of the Damned take on Dos Phoenix. Well, new Dos Phoenix. In 10 minutes with the Paris titles on the line. Dos Phoenix retain. And that'll warm up to the second, uh, I guess the co-main event. Even though it's could be said that the co-main event is actually the this match. I would say since it's a mid-Atlantic based show, I think this is actually the co-main event. And then we have a lot of time, which is good. We can also have Raven Nightfall's beautiful defense against... Uh, okay, she's not the... Def oh, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dreamer. No, no, no. We'll give uh, Azul a, def uh, a title shot because we like Azul. We like Azul here. Uh, Raven's going to go over. It's going to be a open match, decisive, lift the crowd. Put the title on the line. Is there any like angles we need to run tonight? I don't think there are. Nope. Cool. We're going to run angles. I just mean, is there any storyline angles we need to run tonight? And, uh, that's right. I don't think is no. Uh, actually, one thing we can do, though. First of all, we do that. And then after the match, we'll have Tirador Alpha say, Hey, fine. Look, I just proved it. I don't need a group, and I don't need you to be successful. I'm one of the best workers in the entire world. Well, I'm one of the best wrestlers in the entire world. And I, I get my goals achieved, and I've proved it yet again here tonight. Okay? So fine, break up the group. I don't care, because clearly... I'm just as good without it as I am with it. And I'll add three more minutes onto that match because I mostly do. <laughs> and I want it to be 140 minutes total. Okay, that looks good to me. That looks good to me. Let's get rolling. Are we in a generic... Actually, I, I'm going to just pick... We're going to let the game run us in the uh, Stadio Olimpico tonight because that's okay. It's a really cool sounding stadium name, okay? <laughs> All right, and the opener gets a 82B. Really good match. Really happy with this. Uh, Ace in the hole, Tirador Alpha defeats Pesadilla. Higa, good stuff indeed. After the match, 83B+, plus says, you know what, fine. End the group. I don't care, because quite frankly, I'm as good without it as I am with it. 46D, Cheetah Boy is defeated by Espada, Chin, Demon, and Yako. Decent reaction from the crowd, actually, just subpar wrestling. Not, not expecting that with these two. Lift us back up with a 58C minus Queens of the Damned are defeated by Dos Phoenix Neil. <laughs> Make defense number two of their titles. This was poor, uh, but it was overbooked, so it was like. Uh, uh, Emma del Gato is held back by the chaotic nature of the match. Uh, over uh, overbooking didn't sit well with the crowd, unless fucking the owner has changed the, na the, the product settings, which he might have. I, I was not expecting that, because I'm pretty sure we tested that a couple episodes back. I don't know. Lots of interference. Big, I explained it earlier. Heel turn by frickin'. Um, where is it? A heel turn by uh, George Will. Actually, it's in the frickin' finish. That's awesome. So, Armandel got defeated Cameron Jones by Pinfall in the Nightlife following a turn by George Wolf. Yeah. Good stuff. Alright. In a 62C, which is better than the actual match he turned heel in. This is a good match, actually. Uh, Finn Lazando carries George Wolf to a, to a decent match. And then, this was supposed to be better, but it was face versus face, so I'm not too bothered. As Raven Nightfall defeats Agula Azul Celeste. Alright, so the card's been fine so far. The co-main event so far is the opener, and it had an 82, so... Hoping this does okay. Nicholas Lopez enters to an 83B+, and the main event... It's an 80B! Hmm. These two should do better than this. Maybe it was the low uh, storyline heat? Low storyline heat. Hmm. Oh, well, this is the, I think this might be the last time these two are facing one-on-one, -on -one, so... That's a little disappointing end to their... End to their struggle, but... That's okay. It was an exceptional match, and it's it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. What? What? Okay, I... I, I don't actually think the co-main the co event thing has been changed. How the fuck did that get a 71C if the... Because most of this show was, was matches... And I sw Look, we're doing the math. <laughs> I, I I don't know exactly how much of the show's matches, but let's estimate it's around 80%, right? So 80% of the show grade should come from... Uh, so, and a good chunk of that comes from the main event, right? So let's say... 
this is really rough maths. The main event match was 80. That, um, oh yeah, times is right. That's 0 0.7 percent or 70 percent of the match grade, which the match grade itself is actually 0 point. Uh, eight we'll say of the whole show so we got 45 from the main then 82 times 0 0.2 which is the percentage of the match grade it is roughly times 0 0.8 we got 13 so that's 48 58 already and then the rest of the show probably averaged out to about a 58 times 0 0.8 right so that's uh, 70 odd, right? 71 already. That's not even including the angle grades. Okay, maybe maybe this math is bullshit, but still. Fuck, fuck you, game. That was a fucking good shot. Fuck, no. I'm fucking very upset with that. How the fuck did that happen? I'm usually good about working this shit out. Unless the, the, the co-main event maths shit that Adam talked about in the, in the pre-launch, that now it's the second best match on the card is bullshit. Because that would make sense. Like, if, if it was bullshit, then that would make total sense. That's exactly how the grade should be. But there was, like, two angles on the show. They both did awesome. Yeah, they actually did. And then the top two matches. And I'm pretty sure, like, the top two angles are 90% of the grade. And the top two matches are 90% of the grade. So even if the rest of the card was below average, which even then it wasn't that bad. I'm really surprised with that rating. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, wait a minute. Uh, there you go, see? Hmm, I don't, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Whatever. Uh, no, screw it. I'm, I'm, I'm too angry to do speeches. I'm done. So, overall, Tirador is still one of the baddest asses around. Doing good stuff. Um, enjoying it. And just crush it. Oh, frick. Why are you gone? You didn't appear, did you? I don't know why you're about, but sure. I'm going to need to sign you back for uh, one appearance, please, Sam. Thank you. Oh, okay, good. You're a freaking pain in the ass, Sam, because you take a while to sign, so I might have to hold back on that. That might be the worst buy rate of all time, too. Fuck you, game. Done with this. All right, you guys in the comments, tell me if the game is being stupid and how amazing that show was, because I think it was bonkers cool. So, you know, if you want to join me with a just big middle finger to the game... I just held up the wrong finger. I'm glad you can't see that. Big middle finger to the game. Uh, Evil retained his title clean, so he's, he's the better man. He's the better man. And uh, how is Nicholas going to react? How is Pesadilla going to react to a vicious loss? Is she going to be okay? Is she going to be back? Is she going to disappear like seemingly Mr. Lucha 3 has? Or uh, will she return? Will she go after Tirador? Will she move on? What's the plan? I don't know. Is the arc ending? Not yet. Next episode is the finale of the Mid-Atlantic. Crusade arc. Shit's gonna go down. Probably. Maybe. Probably not. I'll see you guys next time for the last Por La Noche of March. Or it might be the first one of April, depending on whether Sam Keith signs in time. Not too sure. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Adios.